Welcome to this video in which we will be seeing how we can download the new free versions of both Bingware Workstation for Windows and Linux and Bingware Fusion for Mac. For those who are not yet aware of this, the company Broadcom bought the Bingware company and is making several changes in terms of products, costs, licensing, etc. And one of the big positive changes for us is that now the versions that were previously paid versions of Bingware Workstation for Windows and Linux and Bingware Fusion for Mac are now completely free for personal use. Before, the free versions were the Bingware Player, but that was already discontinued since now the ones that were previously paid versions are now free. However, to download them you have to do a couple of extra steps that were not necessary to do before and that is what we are going to be seeing in this video. The first thing we are going to need is to create an account in Broadcom. Do not worry about copying the links that you will be seeing, I will be leaving you in the description of the video all the links that I will be using. To create our account, we simply have to place our email here. I will be using this one. We validate the CAPTCHA and click on Next. This will send us a verification code to our email, just copy it and paste it. And then here they put their data, name, last name, country, etc. Once they complete the data and place the password, they will see this page where they were correctly registered. Then we will go down here and we will put the do it later, which is to complete this that we are not interested in at the moment. You can accept or reject the cookies, that is up to you. What we are going to do now is log in with the account that we just created. In username what you have to put is the email you used, then simply put the password. And now, welcome to the Broadcom portal. You can go to your profile from here and if you had any license acquired with Broadcom or whatever, you would be seeing it on your panel. What can be a bit complicated is how to get, how to get the link or download page of the products Binware Workstation and Binware Fusion. You will simply open a tab and paste these links. The first of these links will take you to the download of Binware Workstation Pro for both Linux and Windows. The version that we now have to use are these that say personal use. This pro version was previously paid, but since the acquisition of Broadcom, if we use it for personal use, that is very important, we can download them and use them completely free of charge. And the same applies to Binware Fusion for Mac. To continue with the example, I will be downloading the Windows 1. Version 17 for personal use. Once you click, you will see all the versions that can be downloaded. I will be going for the last one, 17.5.2. Here we are going to click on Agree, to indicate that we are accepting the terms and conditions. And then we are going to click here on this little cloud. However, notice that when you click, it tells you that before downloading the file, we need some additional verifications. Of course, we are going to say yes. And here you just have to complete some other data. The address, the city, the state, the province, and the postal code. And down here it is important to also put that they accept the terms. Once they are completed, click on Submit and it will return them to the previous page. As you can see, it returned me to the main page, but I lost the links of the binware, so we use the same link that we used a few moments ago to see the binware workstation download for Windows and Linux. We repeat the steps. I'm going to select the Windows version in the 17.5.2. Notice that it was already marked to me from the previous times that I accept the terms and conditions and now if I click on the little cloud I will be able to start the download of the installer. If I also wanted to, I could return while that download is being carried out and also download the Linux version. Same version 17.5.2, we put that we accept the terms and conditions and we click also to start the download. And in the same way if I wanted to download the version Beanware Fusion for Mac, 
same procedure. The numbering for beanware fusion is different, notice that the last one is 13, it does not mean that is out of date, it is simply another product line with another version. We accept the terms and conditions and we click on the cloud. Remember these are the versions that were paid before, but now they are completely free with all the functionalities to which we could not access before because without paying we can only access the player version of these virtualizers. What I'm going to do now is install the Beanware workstation full for Windows. The installation is extremely simple, this part did not change, if you ever installed Beanware, this is still the same. We accept the terms and conditions, we can install the driver for the improvement of the keyboard, this is still exactly the same, we can leave it marked that it is looking for updates and if we want or not to participate in the experience program of. Beanware, the icons, and install. Once the installation is finished, if you want you can click on finish or click on license and here you would have to place the license as long as you are not using this privately. Remember that for personal use it is not necessary to purchase or put any type of license, so we click on skip and finish. Typically it will tell you that once you have installed it, you must restart the computer to be able to use the program for first time. Well, once you restart the computer you will be able to start Beanware. Before starting it I wanted to show you that from Broadcom you can already see the list of all the things that were downloaded, if they go here, sorry not in this one, in the one on the side in which it has the little arrow down, this is the download history. From pending or the ones that have already downloaded. These are the three that I downloaded a moment ago, the Windows, Linux and Mac installer. You can re-download it and if you click on the little arrow you will see more details about what you are downloading. In this case it is the Beanware Fusion, then we will find the Beanware Workstation for Linux and finally the Windows 1. Now, once you start the Beanware, again you will see this, as you are going to be using this for personal use, as indicated here, just type up here, click on continue and then finish. And finally we have access to the Beanware Workstation Pro version 17 in its last stage, completely free and without the limitations that we had with the It is a little more complicated to download since before we could download the free versions of Beanware directly from the page, without any kind of registration or anything like that and Broadcom for the moment did not make the task of finding the links. Very easy, but don't worry. That's why I made this video, so that you can access this and download it without complications with the links already served on the tray. I hope the video has been useful and you don't have complications to follow the step by step. Thank you very much and see you next time.